Hello guys and welcome to this new video. As you saw, I didn't post new videos for a while and this was because I was at the Traffic and Conversion Summit 2017 in San Diego. It was a great conference, I met ton of really great people there. Uh, you can see some pictures of the conference both on my Facebook uh, page and also on my Instagram. I also met great people there, as I said, like I met Pat Flynn for example. Uh, I even take a selfie with him, you can see that on my Instagram as well. So really a great conference and I literally spent like the last two weeks uh, already implementing everything that I learned at the conference. As I said, there is just so much that I learned at this conference. I have like six or seven, you know, pages of notes and that's a lot because it's written very small in, uh, in Evernote, which I used to take those notes. So really, I have a ton still to implement in my business. And in this video, I just wanted to share like, like the major takeaway that I had from, um, from the conference, which is the thing, you know, that like the idea that they dominated the, the world summit, right? And this is, as you probably saw already from the title, this is Messenger, uh, so Facebook Messenger bots. And in general, using Facebook Messenger in your business. So we all know that there are already bots, right? Probably you already use some of them. For example, uh, when you are you know, booking a ticket from an airplane company, right? Now you can actually subscribe to a notification and they will tell you like when you know, is your flight, if it's uh, delayed, if it's not delayed, since and that, right? So we already know that there are bots out there. So at this conference, people say that, yeah, they are using bots in their business to, to answer you know, to, to people. But not only, because what I actually learned here is that you can use Facebook Messenger automation to actually keep track of people that engaged with you in the past, right? And you can actually send them messages back, okay, even after the initial conversation. And that completely blew my mind. I, I had no idea that you can actually treat Messenger, you know, like, like an email list, basically. And what people there showed is that you can, for example, run ads, okay, um, on Facebook, but except to tell people, okay, just, you know, go to this page, visit this page, you will get a free download, for example, and then you get their email uh, address. You can just direct them directly to Messenger and tell them, for example, okay, if you, you know, want this uh, free report or this free case study that I made, just write the word case study right in messenger and then you can tell the bots to automatically send them the file but then they are actually recorded into uh you know the app that you will use to do that and you can then send them messages again at any time in the future for example with some offer and people show that for example use in e-commerce the open rates of those you know broadcasts on messenger were crazy like nearly 90% and click through rates were like 50%, you know, because it's like a friend would send you a message, right? And this also completely blew my mind, like when I compare that to my emails, for example, and people told me I have great numbers for my emails, uh, I have approximately like 25% of people that open my emails, right? And then about 10% of the total people I send to are actually clicking uh, through, right? Uh, so it's like nothing compared to, to those numbers that people say from Messenger. And therefore you can, you know, also get very cheap leads, right, for your business. So that was my major takeaway from this conference and the thing I'm working on at the moment. So I decided to, you know, they, they spoke about a lot of different software that you can use to do that. And I actually decided not to use any of those, but to build uh, directly this into my own software that I use for social media automation already, which is called Pure Social. And actually you can now use it as well. And I will link to that in the description of this video, but it's just at puresocial.io, right? Uh, you can just go there, it's uh, in beta when this video was recorded, so you can just go there and try it for free, right? Even in the future. Um, so that being done, you will hear me a lot um, about this topic in the later reads because I really want to experiment with that and I will of course report about that 
here in my blog and also on my podcast. So again, that was my major takeaway from the conference. If you have been there as well, I would like to hear what was your main takeaway from the conference. So if you were here, just post uh, below and tell us what was your major takeaway from the conference. That being said, it's already the end of this video. Thank you again for watching it. Again, I would love to have your comments on what you uh, learned in this video. And again, if you, if you were at the conference as well, just leave below what was your major takeaway. And again, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.